Hello everyone and welcome to Goma at Home. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful day deserves good food. Today we're preparing creamy caldereta. To begin with, we need to have a good piece of meat and then of course our Alaska creamy beef evap. We'll prepare our garlic and our onions. Oh, we natin na mabuti yung, uh, yung garlic natin. Again, once you crack your garlic well, madali na siya release sa skin niya. See? Just like that. I always like to put in a lot of garlic sa, sa caldereta. Sarap eh. Once ma... Tanggalan natin yung mga skin sa garlic, putulin natin siya ng pino. Okay? Pagkailan natin yung garlic natin. This is a good amount of uh, garlic para sa ating uh, caldereta. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to heat up my pot. Gamit tayo ng onions na pula. We'll cut the big pieces. Siguro yung just quarters natin siya. Let's use a lot of this. <clears throat> this is how I do my cooking. No? I prepare all the ingredients. And then para pag bata na magluto ako, tuloy-tuloy na yung bagsak ng mga, ng mga ingredients. So now I have the garlic, I have my onions. I'll just uh, prepare my my meat. Cut it. Let's make it chunky. Ooh. Maganda talaga pag magluluto ka ng kaldereta. Get a good piece of meat. If it's a good piece of meat, hindi mo na kailangan na pakuluan ng matagal. Hindi ba kasi, pag gumawa ng kaldereta, maabot ng mga sometimes two hours nila pinapakuluan yung yung baka nila para, para lumambot. The good piece of meat sometimes just takes about 45 minutes. Okay? So here's our beef. Ganito. We'll cut it into oh, let's, let's make it chunky. Kasi liliit pa to eh. Let's cut it into three pieces. Or, yun. So, ganda lang kalaki. While you're cooking it, Iliit na yan. No? Magme-melt yung fat. Lalabas yung, uh, yung uh, fluids niya. So, liliit siya ng konti. First, we'll brown our our meat. Okay. We'll put in a good amount of oil. Para i-brown natin itong uh, beef natin. So, mainit na siya. Lagyan natin yung beef natin and then we let it brown. Oh, nice. Okay. And so we'll check kung nag-brown na yung isang side niya. Ah, good. Begin to brown. Yan. Maganda ito, iba-brown muna natin para lumabas ang linamnam ng meat. Yun. At this point, we can drop our uh, onions. Yeah. And our garlic, sabay na natin. So, hindi na masunog yung garlic dito kasi meron na siyang meat. Unlike if, uh, pag garlic lang, if a fry mo sa madali sa masunog, yung ma-brown. So, mix it together. There you go. So, while we're doing this, okay, we'll close it. And i-prepare naman natin yung mga veggies. Let's clean our chopping board. Let's peel our carrots. Then we chop our carrots. Up. Fresh and fresh carrots. So crunchy. Put the carrots there inside. And before I chop our potatoes, we check on our beef. Maganda na. Mm -hmm, beautiful. Sa tamoy niya. At this point, pwede natin siya lagyan ng, ng water and then we'll let it boil. Ayan. So, we let it boil. And then later on, pag nagbo-boil na siya, lalagyan na natin dito yung tomato sauce and our Alaska creamy beef evap. So, habang hinihintay natin siya mag-boil, prepare na natin yung mga potatoes natin. Okay. So, 
while, while, while you're waiting, ang gawin mo, para hindi mangitim yung, yung potatoes, pwede mo siya ilagay sa isang bowl na may tubig. And it will stop it from uh, turning brown. Kasi ganun yung potatoes na nangingitim pag nag-oxidize. Just, just leave it there. And then, yung mga veggies naka-prepare lang dito. But it's always keep our chopping board clean. Ayan. So at this point, prepare na rin natin yung ating atsal. Atsal is bell pepper. Okay? We'll clean our peppers. We'll uh, take out the seeds. Pepper. Dali. Sarap yung, sarap yung bell pepper pag marami ka nilagay. Sarap yung flavor ng bell peppers. So once our uh, beef begins to boil, yun na, pwede natin ilagay yung tomato sauce natin. Lagyan natin dito. Put in our spices. We'll put in uh, bay leaves. We'll put in some uh, freshly ground pepper. Pero ganda dito. Medyo coarse lang yung yung uh, pag grind natin. Yeah. So of course the ground pepper. Nice. And salt. So let's mix it. Pwede natin isama yung, yung liver spread para talagang malinamnam. No? Napakasarap. Mas nakanamnam pag kumpleto ang rekado. Ayan. Let's wait for about, uh, about 30 minutes for this to simmer some more. And then the rest of the, rest of the ingredients ilalagay na natin dito including yung sili natin para banghang ng konti. So, ang managintay tayo dyan, meron ka ng mga na cut up ng mga carrots pang snack. Kalab na. Hmm. Okay. So, after 35 minutes of uh, boiling our meat, let's check. Kung malambot na ba ito? Take one. Yeah. Good. One more. One more piece. Yeah, good. And then, try it. <clears> hmm. <throat> Takanam nam. Lame. So, at this point, we'll add our, uh, our bell pepper. You know, some people. Ang ginagawa nila, pina-fry nila yung, yung mga ingredients like, like the bell pepper, like the carrots or potatoes. Yeah, it really depends on, on how you want to cook your food. Pwede yung oo, pwede hindi. So, ito yung, ano natin, yung potatoes binabot sa tubig para hindi siya magmangitim, para hindi siya mag-oxidize. So, just drop everything there and then we'll simmer it for another 20 minutes. So, hello, ilan natin ulit. One more time. Wow. Beauty, isn't it? Siyempre, lalagyan na natin siya ng sili. Let's put some chili. Take out the stalks. Kayo ba, gano'ng aghang gusto niyo sa kaldereta? Some people gusto nila maanghang. I'm putting in five chilies. So, lima lang. Sakto na na. to make it uh, spicy. Diba? Yan ang dating. May konting anghang <laughs> sakto. Diba? Pag nahalo na natin lahat, ilalagyan na natin ang ating Alaska Creamy Beef Evap. Okay? And then, ihalo na natin tong Alaska Creamy Beef Evap. Ooh! Ganda! Haluin lang natin. And then from here on, 
we just let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes and then chachikin na ulit siya and we're ready to serve let's close this let's take a look at this yun kumukulo na siya so after 10 minutes kumukulo na siya we'll just wait for uh, the potatoes and the carrots to to soften yung uh, bell peppers natin or capsicum nandiyan na rin maganda na rin yung uh, yung uh, luto niya we'll try this one more time Wow. Mm. 10 more minutes and we're done. Sarap pa. Thank you kay, uh, kay Mark03, Justy2603, and Ina Unsoy. Sila yung mga nag-request na magluto daw ako ng uh, caldereta. So, ito yung version ko ng uh, beef caldereta. Yung beef naman, caldereta, kasi pwede mo gamitin maski anong meat. You can put uh, chicken chicken caldereta or uh, goat, goat's meat, no? yung kambing na caldereta. In provinces, ang maraming uh, kadalasang niluluto nila, ginagamit ng meat is goat or beef. Alright? So, we'll wait for a few more minutes until paglambot ng uh, carrots natin at saka ng potatoes and then we're ready to serve. There you go! Ang ganda. Even the sauce, oh, it's so thick. Ooh, beautiful. Our carrots are soft. Yes. Yes, Our potatoes are good. Good. Yeah. Let's play it. Mm-hmm. How nice. Look at those beautiful colors. Huh? Oh, beautiful. Kaya pa serve ka. Lagi malinis yung plate. Here it is. Our Alaska creamy caldereta. Right. Good piece of meat. Mm, humuk. Mm. It's really good. Try the potatoes. Contain carrots. Maybe the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Top. Thank you so much for uh, sending your comments sa ating uh, comment box. So, this time, kumuha tayo ng, uh, ng beef caldereta using our uh, Alaska Creamy Beef Evap. Thank you so much. It's really, it's really good. No? And thank you for watching Gom at Home. Subscribe, like, and uh, leave a comment. And don't forget to click on the notification bell, okay? So, every now and, every now and then, just um, send in your comments kung ano yung gusto nyong uh, lutuin natin next. Siguro, we'll move to another location. Kagawa naman tayo ng grill. Grill na baboy. Sinog ba na isda? Hmm? Tanawin natin kung siya pwede na tumabuhat. We'll uh, come up uh, with other uh, mga ulam para sa inyo. Okay? So again, this is Richard Gomez and thank you for joining me here in Normok City, right here in Goma at Home. Bye!